Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Gabby. I am going to be doing an Ursula inspired look today. I got some new face paint I wanted to try out. It was like 15 bucks. Hopefully it's good. I don't know. I'm also going to be using this Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers paint as well. It was like three bucks. I'm hoping this turns out well. Let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell notification just so you're, you're notified of when I upload because apparently I'm doing it more frequently now. Who am I? glitter on my face from the last video. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and all of the products that I use today will be down in the description box. And yeah, in the description box down below, as well as my social media handles, everything, all my information, whatever you need, will be down there. And let's get started. Okay, since we are doing blue eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and pat that all over my lids. Okay, so we are using the Normina Volume 2 today because it has all the colors I need to be Ursula. So I'm taking the shade E5 and putting that into my crease. Now I'm going to take the shade, I'm going to do B4 first, and use that to blend out the black. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do the black down to the lower lash line instead of just up top. I'm gonna pop over to the Norvina Mini Volume 3 and take the same brush. And we are dipping into the shade B2, light blue, just to further blend out this deeper blue. So now I'm gonna cut the crease using that Vaseline method. So we're gonna go about three fourths of the way in and we're gonna wipe off the Vaseline with a Q-tip. Now that the creases have been cut, let's add some more of the eye primer. Okay, so now that we have the crease cut and primer reapplied, we're gonna go ahead and re-darken up the inner corner, or outer corner actually. So re-darken the outer corner. Just to deepen that up a little bit more, I'm gonna take the shade D5 and put it right over the B4. Back into the mini and that shade B2, and we're going to use that and cover up the rest of the white. Okay, now I'm gonna take the shade A3 from that same palette and start packing it on. You know what, that is a finger shade, so we're gonna use my finger. And I'm going to add this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner just to the center. I'm 
Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna do the bottom lash line because I normally do my foundation and then go back and do the bottom lash line. I kind of want to do that, but I'm afraid that the purple and the blue will mix together. We'll see. Just yeah, we'll just do it and see what happens. I still have foundation on my forehead from the last video. I'm gonna contour with my 39S palette. So I don't really use this thing. And yeah, it has pretty good contour shades, especially for the look that I'm going for. Okay, so let me prime my skin first. This is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer and the Milk Hydro Grip Makeup Primer because my forehead is kind of dry right now. And I'm taking up my nose ring. I look normal and I don't like it. It took me five minutes to get that nose ring out. I can't. I couldn't find the hinge. Or I could find the hinge, I just couldn't pop it off. So I'm going to take this flat, almost flat, I don't know, I think it's a foundation brush. And I'm just going to mix the blue and the purple together. And here we go. This is a really pretty color, but that's not the color I'm looking for. So I'm going to take a spoon and scoop some of this out onto a plate and then scoop some of the white out and mix that in with it. And I'm actually just using my finger to kind of like brush it up. See, because that's what color it is now. We're getting somewhere where I want it. There we go, that's where I want it. And then just mix all that together. It's still a little too dark. I'm like Thanos purple. I need to be Ursula purple. See, now it's lighter. Probably gonna use my brush to mix it. It looks like a face mask almost. That's cute. And it's still not light enough. I want it to be a little bit lighter. That's about as Ursula purple as we're gonna get. Okay, there we go. Never put makeup on my ears before. That's very weird. I look very sweaty in person. This is actually my first time doing face paint like this. switch to a tank top and be right back. Okay, so I don't really care if anything gets on this shirt. And then with this, I could just edit it. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna edit a little bit of it on Procreate to make it look more Ursula-y. Now what I wanna do is um, I'm gonna powder this just to see if it'll set. And then we're gonna try and contour and highlight. So I'm taking this uh, Kat Von D powder, I'm gonna dump it into the plate that I had for my face paint and we're gonna see if it'll set. So I'm gonna take this brush, it looks just like the other one. So I'm just gonna powder this on because the sponge is not doing it. Okay, so I've powdered most of my face and it is kind of patchy. I don't know if that is from the NYX. I should have done a powder puff. I don't know why I don't have one of those. Something we can do now when all the stores are closed. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and contour. So I did mess with the camera settings to see if I can get it to show up more true to what it really is, but if it doesn't go through, then I'll just see what I can do later on when I'm editing. And so now I'm gonna take the shade Grape Mines from the Morphe 39S. We're gonna contour with this shade. Never contoured with purple before. It feels awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna contour my nose with this Wet n Wild brush. I think it's an eyeshadow brush, but I'm gonna use that same shade to contour my nose.
I'll take this slightly darker purple and deepen the contour, but just a little bit because the paint is coming off. I'm going to go off camera real quick, do my lower lash line, lashes, and I'll be right back. Look at my hands. Okay, so I have the lashes on. I drew this mole on top of a pimple that I happen to have on my chin already, so. Cool. Hair is white. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the lips now that everything else is on. I'm going to take the NYX Suede Lip Liner in Alien, which is black. I'm going to be using this MAC lip gloss in the shade Ruby Woo, brand new. It's like my first time using it. It smells like cookies. And so on top of that, I'm gonna take some clear lip gloss just to make it a little bit more shiny around the edges. Lips are supposed to be a little bit more red than this. Like a lot more red than me. Yeah, let me try and put more red into this. So this would be it for the finished Ursula look. The NYX palette that I picked up, I don't know if I like it just yet. So I'll have to give it a few more test runs to see if I actually do like it and maybe go get some like air spun powder and like a powder puff so you can get like a full test run on it. But I am excited because I've never been purple before. This is pretty cool. It's more like purple in person. I don't know what's going on with my camera. My camera looks crazy. Let me see if I can fix that. I think I fixed it. It's more purple in person. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching this whole transformation. I feel like I do look a little bit crazy, but that's fine. I'm gonna go shower and take this off because I'm not going anywhere. It's like almost 12.30 a.m. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.